A group of biologists are trying to measure the availability of food sources for a population of rabbits. The food source is modeled by a linearly growing function, and the population of animals is modeled by an exponentially growing function, as shown in the table below. At x equals 2, which is greater, the availability of food or the population of rabbits? Let's first see what's going on with both of these different equations. In our exponential equation, in the beginning, while we're still in the negative x's, we're making very small growth. 0 0.008 to 0 0.4 is not much of a change. 0 0.4 to 1 is only a change of 0 0.06. Then all of a sudden, between 0 and 6, we grow really fast. We go from 1 to 25, and then from 6 to 9, we go from 25 to 125. So we multiplied super, super fast in our exponential expression. What about our linear expression? At the beginning we went from negative 3 to 3, which is a pretty big jump. That's six units of a jump, much bigger of, than the jump that we made in the exponential at that point. Then we go from 3 to 15, which is another pretty big jump. Then we go from 15 to 27, and from 27 to 33. So in our linear function, we're making bigger growth in the beginning compared to the exponential function, but all of a sudden, at, toward the end, we're not making as much growth as the exponential is. Our exponential function starts off growing slowly, but after a certain point, grows really, really fast, while our linear function starts to grow, grows faster than the exponential at first, but after a while, it only grows by so much, so the exponential ends up being a lot faster toward the end. But that change, that sudden pop in the exponential growth, doesn't happen until after the x value of 6. Between 0 and 6, our linear function is still larger than our exponential function. And since 2 is an x value between 0 and 6, at x equals 2, our food source, our linear function, is still going to be greater than our exponential at x equals 2.